in this election cycle, if you're voting, I think anybody who's a third party voter is a coward. What's up? This is the objective jerk, and I'm said jerk. How's everybody doing? Um, I don't. Things are the same for me, I guess. I finally, finally, after a year and a half, has it been a year and a half? Yeah, pretty much a year and a half of reading the Bible. I got through the Old Testament. <laughs> so you know, I didn't. I never. I. I don't know. I try to read as much as possible, but you know, and there are times when I would go through and I would read um, every day for a week or two weeks or something like that. But then I'd go through a a couple months where I wouldn't read it, you know, or I might read a little bit, but then it just wasn't very consistent. So it's taken me a while and I, I really wanted to read the Old Testament. I wanted to read, you know, from cover to cover. That's, that's kind of my goal. So um, so finally, now I'm reading Matthew and, and, um, I bought a, uh, new King James version. So it has the, everything that Jesus says in red, which I wanted specifically just to kind of, so I could really, you know, cause when I read, especially like stuff like this, sometimes I can follow along, but I'm very, I have a attention deficit. So it's like, unless it's like a fiction action book, I, my brain will start to trail. Like I can read and I'll be reading, but then I'll start thinking about something or whatever. Like I'm not, I, it's hard for me to always focus. And I turn off the fan, but thinking, oh, it's not that bad, but it's kind of hot. All right. Um, so I wanted the red lettering. So it'd be like, okay, this is Jesus. I want, I want to really, you know, hear what he's got to say. Right. So, so yeah, so there's that. And then, of course, my wife has got to probably message me. I'm at the market waiting on your watch. Okay. Well, let me tell her that I'm doing a podcast. Um, but anyway, so, as I stated before... Um, or at the beginning was the third party voters like in this, you know, the Democrats are not wrong when this election cycle is, you know, to save the country there. They are correct. It's just, they're on the wrong side of it. They, they think police state and control and censorship and all that is saving the country when it's not. But they are right that it it is this is an important election. Um, you know, you got Kamala Scamala, who is just as bad as Biden. She's a socialist through and through. I mean, there's tons and tons of videos and remarks from her talking about it, and she's basically just another puppet or lackey for the deep state. Because if she was to win, war would be going like crazy, if not already starting. You know, because like who's running the country right now? You see Biden do anything? You know, there was a there was some traffic over the the police banner banner police ban from Vegas. This was a couple months ago, I want to say, and it. is Air Force One an emergency landing. And like, they weren't going to Vegas, but they did an emergency landing and they had police officers, anybody that could respond with, you know, to block roads off and whatever to help the motorcade get to the hospital as quick as possible and then leave. And the retarded Jean, whatever, lion bitch, Um, when asked about it, said that, oh, well, you know, he ha- he was tested positive for COVID. And, um, you know, or, so that's that's what that was about. Or he had to go and, and get a test. It's like, you know, there's like, <clears throat> there's, a, there's, there's like a little mini ER on Air Force One. And there's a doctor on Air Force One. So you're saying that they don't have any COVID testing? They can't deal with anything COVID-related? 
let alone, you know, ER capability injuries or whatever, they had to go to the hospital. So that's like, it's another one of those, like, what, what is going on? Why do they have to go to the hospital? A lot of people think Biden actually died or was so incapacitated that that's why he was taken out. Because, like, where has he been? You know what I mean? Like, it is weird. It's a little sus, as they say, right? Um, so it's just, I don't know. Like, it's just, it's all, it's all crazy. And then you have, like, the whole thing about Kamala's race. What, what is, what is Kamala gonna, what's her platform for? Is she just going off of what the original Build Back Better, which turned out horrendously? She has not said one way or another what she wants to do, except for she's copying Trump with some things with, with the taxing the tips or, you know, not taxing the tips, which she was for and was the, the deciding factor to actually allow the IRS to go after service workers tips. And now all of a sudden she's like, oh, no, we don't want to do that. <clears throat> she's saying that when she gets president, she's going to build a better wall. Do this. It's like, well, what are you doing right now? I mean, I know you're the vice president. But you still have some pull. You can work on it some way or another. It's because she doesn't do nothing. She's a complete moron. She's a puppet. And it's like, it's things like this that just like, you know, what's going on? Like, and, and, and I can't understand how people fall for the mainstream media and everything that they say and do. But you know what? It is what it is, right? People are press. What's the word? Pre, um, impressionable, impressionable, impress, impress, impressionable, impressionable. <laughs> I can't think of what I'm trying to say. People are very easily manipulated, and you know controlled, and everything. And and it's obvious, you know. But the thing is, is like. The people who are retarded, but but are you know voting for for Kamala because that's what they believe. Hey, okay, you're an idiot, but fine. At least you know you're not running away from it. To me, especially right now, third party voters are running away from what's going on. Like they don't they don't want to not vote because then you know. They would look at it as like, why didn't you vote? So then, you know, because there's that old saying, like, if you didn't vote, you can't complain, right? So these people will vote for third-party candidates, which have no way of winning. But then, so then when, you know, if, let's say somebody, you know, somebody kind of would vote for Trump, but they don't want to admit it because of the backlash or because of what they're called or whatever. Or even same thing with Harris, you know, they would kind of vote for them, but they're like, you know what? I don't want to get involved, so I'm going to vote for the third party. And then if whoever I was thinking about voting for does good, I can be like, you know, I was going to vote for him, but I was just like, yeah. But if they do bad, be like, yeah, that's why I voted third party. Like, they don't want to own up to anything. It's like, dude, don't vote. If you're too much of a coward to pick a side and see what's right or wrong, or at least what you feel is right or wrong, then why are you voting? I understand third party vote. Uh, Third-party candidates have affected elections in the past, but no third party has ever won in the history of the U.S. Like the closest one was like Teddy Roosevelt, and I guess I think Ross Perot was pretty close. <clears throat> but and it's like at the beginning of the election cycle or whatever, I could see you like going for okay, I'm gonna go for. Um, so-and-so, RFK, right? But then when it gets to the nitty-gritty and it gets to the end, and it's like, okay, you got to pick. You got to make a choice. Because, <clears throat> I don't know, it just... Maybe I'm being a little naive to think that, you know, somebody not voting instead of voting for RFK is going to make a difference. But I mean, like I said, it has, you know, 
more so Democrats that maybe would want to vote traditionally Democrat. They're like, eh, I don't like Harris. I'll, I, I can't vote red. So I'm going to vote for RFK. And vice versa, you know, you have people that are libertarian or down the middle. They, they, they you know, they can't vote for Harris because she's a complete failure. Uh, but Trump is, you know, this crazy toxic individual. So I'm going to vote for like, I sort of get it. But at the same time, just do your research, grow some balls and vote for who has the best platform. And I'm, right now, Harris don't have shit. She is not saying nothing. She's been vice president for the last three and a half years or whatever. And look at what the country has become. Absolute trash. We're not far behind UK with all the bullshit going on. At least with Trump, you know he's he, you know what he can do. You've seen it. He's got results. He's got receipts to show what he can do as a president. You know, it's like... You know, I don't. I, I like RFK to be honest with you. I can't stand to listen to him talk. His voice kind of drives me nuts. But you know, I think as an individual, from what I can tell, he seems to be a good person. Um, he's done some good things, and he has you know some some uh, good ideas. Now, if it was him against Trump right now, would I vote for him? No, because like I said, Trump has receipts. So I know Trump can do a good job. So I'm vote for Trump. Maybe in the next election cycle, for whatever reason, maybe I'll go that way. Because that's the thing. That's I'm not. I mean, right now, yeah, I lean more towards the right and I'm more conservative. But I don't. I don't just. I'm not. I'm not a tribal person. Just because. Ooh, I'm conservative. So that's it. No, I look at what they're talking about, what they're doing, what they've done. And just a little bit of everything. You know what I mean? I've talked at length about my decision to vote for Trump. I'm going to go over it real quick again because, you know, it's not like I have a ton of listeners. <laughs> so, I was unsure about Trump 2016. I thought, like everyone else, that Hillary was going to win. But... In the end, and I almost voted third party. I almost was going to write in something. I can't remember. But my wife, who is an immigrant, who came over legally and eventually became a U.S. citizen, she's the one that said, no, you better vote for Trump. So I did. And then I was like, doesn't matter. But okay. <clears throat> and then he ends up winning. And I was like, whoa, wow, that's crazy. Um, because, you know, I was a little hesitant too. Donald Trump, what? You're fired. You're fired. You know, I had the same reservations as a lot of people. Um, but I just, you know, Hillary was just pure evil and still is, you know. So, but then we had four years, some great four years. Economy, interest rates, uh, jobs, you know, everything was awesome. So, yeah, of course I voted for him again, right? And then now you got Biden, who first day, day one, did so many things that made America suck as it is right now. He signed so many presidential, um, oh, what are they called? What are the things they can sign? They're not laws, but they're whatever. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. But you go back and look at all the things he signed, and that's why... <laughs> All the BS that's going on in America right now. For that reason. And who was vice president? Scamala Harris. So why would I vote? You know, people that are like unhappy with whatever. But then all of a sudden they're like, oh, wait, what? She's black? Oh, I'm black. I'm going to vote for her. I mean, there's a lot of people that don't think that way. But there are some that do. And first of all, she's not black. She's not what America calls a black person. She's not. She's Jamaican. She's Indian. All through her career and her life, she's been Indian. Now all of a sudden, oh, 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 she's black. She's going to be the first black female because they know that that's a trigger for people. <gasps> the first black female? 
oh my gosh, that's that's historic. Let's vote for her. They know that. That's how some people think. And it's retarded. And that's the thing that, you know, the biggest difference, or in a nutshell, right now, that's what the left and right, the difference between the two. The left is all about pandering and 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 going after your feelings when the right is about results and the platform and what they can do to make things better. And it's just, it's right now it is, it's, 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 it's crucial that people go and vote in person early, go and vote. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks again for listening to The Objective Jerk. I greatly appreciate it. If you could uh, like, subscribe, comment on wherever you're finding this, and you can also email me at theobjectivejerk at gmail.com. So, hope you're enjoying it, and please continue on with the episode. And I would vote for the person that you believe that the, between the two candidates that have a chance of winning. I mean, is it possible that a ton of people are going to vote for RFK and he would somehow win? I, yeah, I guess it, anything's possible, but it's just, it's not going to happen though. You just, there's not enough people, you know? Um, so it's like, I, you know, I understand like maybe trying to get, at the beginning during the primaries, which he didn't even get to go to the debates or anything, but like it should have been him against Kamala or something or Biden originally. And then whoever won that would be able to go and run like to me. It should be RFK and Trump. Like that's old school politics back in the day. You had two individuals who were pretty similar on their platforms just with some little differences right now you have such polar opposites that it's just it's insane you know and it but it it again i just i can't the people that vote third party just they're 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 hiding they're they don't want to they don't want to own up to nothing they're cowards i think especially right now with this with everything that's going on you know primaries i get it or even you know you're supporting you know rfk but then when when it comes time to vote and it's like there's no way rfk is gonna win okay i need to i need to do something for the country i need to make a vote that counts yeah you, you know vote that's gonna count i don't know now i know there's a lot of political analysts <laughs> i like that word um well i said it already you know that it it can affect an election but it's like it's it's i'm just tired of like all the all the <clears throat> i don't know all the moving around of numbers and polls and 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 embellishments of this and that and whatever it's just Man, if you know it, I just want an honest, transparent election. That's what I want. Because if if most of the country really does want what the left is pushing right now, then what are you going to do? That's the majority, right? But. I know it's not the case because I see the clips from both sides. I see the videos. I see the pictures. I see, you know, people trying to be like, oh, look, there's no one here at the, the, the this rally. It's like, well, why don't you like pan the whole thing or what time are you there or whatever? And if you put all those into consideration, you will see that nobody or the, I mean, not nobody, but the the majority of the people want Trump back in office. They want some sort of normalcy back in their life. You know what I mean? 
And I know there's people that are left that are voting for Trump because they want that. No, they got it. It's, it's like rebooting the computer. Okay, crap. I'm going to lose all my work. I don't want to reboot my computer. I'm going to lose everything. But it's like, you know what? In order for it's frozen. So I got to reboot it. So voting for Trump for some people is like rebooting, getting things back in order. And then maybe we and then after this, then the left will actually get RFK or actually have, you know, um, an individual that's not psycho. But the thing is, too, is like it's it's not even it's not even Harris. It's not even Biden. It's the deep state that are controlling it that wants war. They want that war to make that money. It was the same thing when Bush W. Bush was in office. You know what I mean? Same crap. You know, I joined the military because of 9-11. And it pisses me off to think that I fought two years in Iraq, almost died, I don't know how many times. Why were we in Iraq? For money. The deep state for money. You know, I I, I could get, okay, we're going after Obama. Obama. Osama. <laughs> but, I don't know, in the end, I'm not trying to turn this into a, into a conspiracy theory episode. But I do feel, and I think I've said it before, I do feel, you know, I don't think the government made or created 9-11 i think they allowed it to happen i think they could have stopped it and i think they removed as many people as they could and that as many you know and the people a lot of people a lot of people died you know obviously but i I think it would have been worse if it was actually a legit government didn't see it coming and didn't take advantage of it you know what i mean um, it's just, and when I think about that, it just makes me sad, man. It's like, gosh, but that's, that's who's pushing. So at that time you had W Bush, right? Who did Bush go up against Gore? Was that it? But it's like, it's just everything flipped. It's like, you know, I don't know. It's just insane. We need we need a president with some balls that's going to do what the people want. You know, there's a, a politician. Oh, man, I think I closed it. I don't have his information up anymore. Dang it. Uh, I'm not trying to. This is real quick, but I might talk about it on another episode. But there's a politician in the European. Um, what do they call over there? Not Congress, but I can't remember his name. But he's he's like a TikToker, right? Or that's where he started, a YouTuber, TikToker, who ran for office in the European... It's not coming to me. Um, and he got like 30... He won enough to actually obtain a seat in his... You know, he didn't... He wasn't number one. Like, I don't know exactly how it works, but like... He didn't win-win, but he didn't lose either. So he is a politician. And what he does is when he needs to vote for a certain whatever, he puts it on his his social media as a polling and says, hey, should I vote for this, this, or this? And whichever one of his followers vote, you know, whatever one wins the most votes, that's what he chooses and that's what he votes for. That's literally running or voting for your consist your con- constituent oh, I can't say it con- your the people that voted you in you know what i mean he's actually giving them a voice and i think that's awesome i think that's what every politician should do every politician should almost not be able to make a decision without some sort of majority from people that voted for him now if that was to be the case, which I'm thinking it might, like I think he's going to do it, and I think it's going to catch on. More and more people might do it. Um, but the thing is, is that that can be tainted too eventually. You know, people are going to see, oh, and then they're going to make a bunch of bots and fake accounts, and they're going to up the votes and try and make things work in their favor. You know, so it's just like anything else. You know, you need to have voter ID. You should, you know, if if you're going to be able to subscribe to a, a politician where your vote on a poll on social media would matter. You would have to prove that you 
actually voted for that individual and you are a real person, you know, and that's just more craziness. I don't know. Like, I like the idea, but it's like, it's just, it's just more, more BS that could happen from it. Like it might be cool at first, but I think in the end it could turn out bad. Just don't know. It's crazy. But, um, let me know if you want to hear more about him. I had, I had his information up cause I was going to talk about him the other day, but I just didn't. But anyway, that's it. Get out, vote. Vote for who has a chance to vote or win. Go early. Vote in person. Bring some people. Let's make a difference. All right. I'll see you guys later. All right, bye. You just put yourself through another episode of The Objective Jerk. Thanks again for hanging out with me. Uh, please email me at theobjectivejerk at gmail.com. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, wherever you find this. Follow. It all helps. Uh, but thanks again, and I'll see you next time.